Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome back to Friday Sews. A community of sewers from around the world held together by the hashtag Friday Sews. If you click on that hashtag, you will see a lot of great sewers from around the world and get to hear what they're working on this week, what's on tap for next week, and a little bit of life in general. For this week, I finished my Minerva Makers Make, and you can actually go on their website and see that. I used Quick Sew 3553. I made a, actually this set, but it was in shorts. I made a set of summer or spring pajamas with a beautiful cotton poplin that uh, was from Minerva.com. And I'm also just about done with my May makes. Uh, this week I'm working on uh, this one here is Butterick 6161. Butterick 6161. I am working on this view here. That's this one here. It is a beautiful soft linen that I had in my stash. I am trying to use the fabric I have. I cannot buy any more. And I've really been blessed. Uh, recently just got another box of uh, really fun uh, cotton fabrics to uh, use for summer wear also. Just finished up uh, New Look 6942. That's coming up in my May makes. So stay tuned for that. So here's a quick tip because I try to sew every day and even on those days that I don't have a lot of time and I know that's a, a lot of us right I go in my sewing room I set my Alexa for 30 minutes and you'd be amazed what you can get sewn in 30 minutes I got some patterns from the 99 cent sale at Hobby Lobby those were quick sew I picked up quick sew 4112 Missy's top I love the the seaming in the front for beautiful shaping this does have uh, a long zipper in the back but i just i just think that the the picture on the models is fabulous quick sew 4260 is a color block dress i have the fabric already from the cottons that i got from metro fabrics if you haven't seen that haul right up here click up here when you're done with this video and check out those Great cottons that uh, Kashi from Metro Fabrics sent me. And, and there's a couple in there that I thought would be would look really beautiful as this color blocked dress. Here are the line drawings for that. I've never attempted color blocking. I'm hoping I don't get all confused. Quick Sew 4070, a great pair of trousers there. It uh, pants have a fly front zipper, front and back waist darts waistband with hook and eye closure and pockets at the side seam so there you have it and you get the uh, shorter more crop length also butterick 6566 i love this uh, one piece there so we're going to give that a try i'm not sure when and with what but it is on the radar for 2021 quick so 4246 the top is Gorgeous. I like this one. Uh, these sleeves here, I think, are a little too voluminous, this ruffly. But this one is really nice, even in that, um, that shirting that was done. I love that with the white slacks. There are the line drawings. And quick sew 4222. Um, hoping to get some wraps and ponchos and cover ups, dusters, just layering pieces done this year before the year is up. Pretty simple. I love, I love the one done in this plaid. I love the fringe. I love that one with the contrast trim. They're just really nice. I also picked up Butterick 4176. I mentioned before, I'm hoping to do a little bit of sewing of little girl dresses for a mission. They send the garments uh, out of the country to, I think it might be Peru. I think it might be Peru they send those things. So I'm hoping to get involved in that ministry before the year is up. So I got my bathing suit fabric. Let me show you that. This is from Spandex by The Yard. I chose this pretty aqua blues and whites uh, flowers. They remind me of, very much of the flowers that we have on our bushes here. Um, so this was actually on sale too. It's a pretty decent weight. And it is, it was, um, it was advertised as swimwear, you know, perfect for swimwear, leggings, that kind of stuff. So 
I am looking forward to getting that made up. I also picked up uh, a yard of some Trico for the lining. I don't know what I'm doing. The last time I made a bathing suit, I was in high school, in my high school's textile shop, and I probably weighed 94 pounds. So <laughs> I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen here, so. And these are the bathing suit patterns that I have already in my pattern stash. I have uh, McCall's 95, 66 that is brooke shields on the cover i um i don't know if it's gonna be, i don't think it's gonna be this one but i wanted to show you my my patterns my bathing suit patterns also mccall's 9608 that's a two-piece it's a little bit too bikini ish for me but it is gorgeous on brooke shields i also had this stretch and sew mallet from 1988 and uh, this one was a strong contender. I was actually looking at View B with the racer back. And it's still, I still might do that. I'm not sure uh, yet. But uh, during the 99 cent sale or the pattern sale, I'm not sure if it was 99 or $1.99, I picked up uh, Butterick 4526, Butterick 4526. And I hope to do View C or View A, the one piece. I think it's going to be view A, the one piece with the little notch there in the front for interest in that beautiful blue turquoise aqua spandex. Well, then there's life. Well, you know, May started off with a lot of joy. My husband and I were celebrating our 19th wedding anniversary. We had a wonderful uh, lunch slash dinner out at the beach that uh, one of the local beaches here in our new area that we've moved into so we got a chance to experience one of the local beaches then there was mother's day which really was you know started off very joyously because i got a chance to speak with my sons and my granddaughters from uh, new york so you know technology is wonderful it just ties us all together you know when you can't be there to hug and kiss them you have you have Skype and Zoom and FaceTime, and th that's awesome. But the evening ended up a, on a very sad note for us. Our sweet boy, Sonny, he was only six years old, unexpectedly and suddenly died on that evening, uh, late that night, actually. He um, was in some sort of distress, and it, he went very quickly very quickly. We, we didn't even have time to process what was happening. So uh, that's our sweet boy, Sonny. Thank you for letting me share what I has been going on in my little part of the world here. I hope you will try to sew this week, even if it's for 30 minutes. Talk to you soon.